Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Glory Abba Father. Child of God, your, your secret and the biggest hater, the biggest haters, the biggest haters of your life, God is exposing them. Oh God. God is exposing them. The heart of men. I extremely wicked. I extremely wicked, you know. The heart of me. This is not even a family member at all. When I hear this word, I say, God, this is not even a family member. These are friends that you not you took as a family. Friends that you took as family. You know, some of us when we when we have friends or have a uh, people. We open up to them more than we open to our own brothers, our our blood brother, our blood sister, our husband, our wife. You know, we open up to them. We open up to them. But the most hurtful part of it is to realize that the one that you are opening up to, they are the biggest hater of your growth. They are the biggest hater of your dreams. They are the biggest hater of your job. They are the biggest hater of your calling. You see why so many people have gone into a, a very dangerous isolation? It is because of what someone they took as a good friend did to them. You realize that the person you call your own, it is the secret hater. It is the secret and the biggest hater. Of whatever you want to do. When you are not doing well, they are by your side. The moment you start doing well, they start fighting what you are doing. Does it mean that they never want you to be better? That is what it means. They never want you to be better. They wanted you to be in that place where you would, where you would be worshipping them. God did not put us here to worship human. He asked us to respect people, to love people, to give honor to who is honor is due. He didn't say we should worship them. He said, only him alone. Thou shalt only worship thy God alone. Him alone shall we worship. Him alone shall we worship. Hallelujah. So when you encounter this experience, don't go into isolation, child of God. Because thank God that God exposes some certain things. Don't go into that dangerous and a, you know there is some isolation that is not okay. I know we Christians, most of us, we are in isolation. We don't have friends because of all this betrayal and all of that. But that doesn't mean that we are not happy or we don't talk to people. There are dangerous isolation that is not godly, that is not good. This kind of isolation can cause depression, it can cause somebody to be sick. Don't go into, into that kind of isolation. You can only separate yourself from some certain things. Don't allow the devil to push you into that kind of isolation because of what you because of what they use someone that you love that you called your own to do against you. Hallelujah. God is the one that exposes. You need to understand that even Judas was the biggest hater of Christ's journey. When the oil was about to be poured on the feet of Jesus, he said, Why can't we sell this oil now? These are the wickedness of men. When you want to grow, they will tell you, why should you grow? But God is exposing every one of you, child of God, and you will become bigger in that your calling in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.